Hi everyone, welcome to new session on astrodynamics. I'm very much excited to get into this series because it's one of my favorite topic. So what is meant by astrodynamics? Astrodynamics nothing but a subject which deals with the orbital mechanism. So in this series we are going to learn about how to design an orbit where the satellite to be placed and also we are going to learn how to make an animation out of it. So I'm going to teach you the I mean software also. The software is called as STK. I'll be telling you how to download, where to download, and that is free of cost, so that we can uh, do some basic, uh, basic exercises with that free software. And uh, before getting into the subject satellite dynamics and mechanics, let let us learn something about rocket also. I'm not good in rocket science, but then let me tell you something about rocket. So bear with my bad diagram. So if a, if it is a three stage rocket and satellite is in the in the heat shield. how it is transferred into its orbital path it has to travel first at at least at 11.2 km per second why this why this speed uh, you can imagine how how high speed is this it had rocket has to travel at 11.2 km per second to escape from the earth's gravitational force so okay it has to travel at at least 11.2 km per second example for a rocket for a satellite to be placed at 1000 km it has to travel at 7.8 km per second so if a rocket travels at this speed its satellite is placed at 1000 km above the earth okay so these these uh, liquid these are called as liquid stepons where the liquid propellants are filled so these are initial stages where the which are used while i mean which are used when when the rocket starts up after which this may, the after which the first stage consists of liquid and solid uh, solid stage solid propellants and here in the second stage we will be having some liquid propellants and after which we will be having some cryogenic or liquid propellants so depending on the design you will be having liquid solid and cryogenic propellants okay these are detached at the frequent intervals or these are detached at the intervals so that it is moved it is the detachment makes the satellite to uh, rockets to move up and place the satellite in its orbit okay so satellites are placed in the heat shield after they are away from the earth's gravitational field this heat shield opens up and the satellites comes out after satellite comes up the solar panels and the antennas with communications opened up and the satellites are placed in its orbit so what is orbit how satellite moves around the earth satellite moves around the earth either in circular shape or in elliptical shape so these shapes will be decided i mean will these shapes are decided according to its purpose so at what heights are uh, either in the lower earth or in the middle earth or in the geo geo orbit that is geo stationary orbit these are also decided according to its application okay so satellites may travel in either circular form or in the elliptical form so these are the example orbital path okay so this is our earth so before getting into our subject let's learn we have earth and we have some equator right so if you place a plane over the equator so that is known as equatorial plane okay equatorial plane this is very important while designing the orbital path so we have learned some important aspect today that is equatorial plane so we have a equator around the center of the earth if a plane if you cut a plane in the horizontal direction that is known as equatorial plane these are used design while designing the orbital path okay so that's all for today session i'll be teaching you about keplerian elements and laws before getting into the anime i mean before getting into the design of orbit after which we'll be dealing after which we are learn we'll be learning about some numerical calculation which are essential we'll calculate some values and we'll just plug into the software and we'll see the how animation so that's all for today session meet you in next session bye bye take care